TB Kendall family, listen, you guys, before the video start, do me one favor. Pause the video right now. Go over to this Instagram. I know I'm gonna mess his name up, bro. I apologize in advance. Um, Hi Archie Frenchies. Give him a follow on Instagram, you guys. Make sure you get that boy a follow. That's his Instagram right there. Make sure y'all tap in, get that boy a follow, right? Go over to his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel, I'm gonna tell you guys right now what his YouTube channel is. Go over to his YouTube channel. Go to his last video, man. Y'all know what to put, man. Came from CB Killings, man. We showing you some love, bro. We mess with you, bro. Because Tommy messed with you. You guys, he just dropped the dope, fluffy Frenchie litter. Dope. If I, he dropped 16 puppies, and he whooped them all by himself, bro, with no help, bro. Like, he the GOAT. He did that, bro, by himself. Here go his YouTube channel, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all go over there. And y'all, um, show that man some love, you guys. Right there. That go his YouTube channel. Everything gonna be in the description box. I'm gonna pop up his Instagram name. His Instagram is in the description. I mean, his YouTube is in the description box. Go to the description box right now, you guys. Show him some love. Go follow him. Go follow him. Go follow his dog page. That boy breed Frenchies. He got some nice, dope Frenchies. He also got a Frenchie stud, a fluffy Frenchie stud. Y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. Let's start the video. Drew's daughter, you guys, man. All of her siblings have went to their forever home. See me, Kendall family. All right, you guys. So, um, let me go ahead and get this video over to you guys, um, so you guys can understand and know what's going on. I've been getting a lot of DMs. Everybody asking me, "Hey, Tommy, what's going on with the French litter, the flush French litter?" And um, so, you guys, I want to start by saying this: my kennel partner, two times kennel trail, um, me and him co-own. Lil Bit. Lil Bit is the tri Merle Fluffy Carrying French. We co on her. Um, so, you guys, make sure y'all go over to his YouTube channel, Two Times Kittle. I'm going to drop his. His link will be in the description box. Um, also, I'm going to drop his link right there on one of those sides. It's going to be there. But you guys got to make sure y'all go over to his channel and watch his new video because um, he's going to go into detail on what happened when he got the C session because I was not there. Um, so I'm going to break the story down to you guys And he's going to go into depth more Over on his channel So you guys can know fully what happened Because I was not there So um, So what happened was this So like I told you guys Me and Trail co-own a little bit Which is the trimer of Frenchie Cool So the whole point was When we got the C-section I was like Trail we're both going to be there we're both going to record we're both going to get footage Um so for both of our channels, because you guys know he got a YouTube channel too. So I was like, bro, that's both of me. That'd be content for both of us. So we both co on her. So the whole game plan was this, you guys. I was not going to whelp. We decided, me and Troy decided I was not going to whelp her litter. Troy was going to whelp her litter because Troy haven't had a litter in a while. So I was like, you know what, fam? You whelp her. You get the content um, at, over there at your channel. So we agreed that he was going, you know what I'm saying? She was going to stay with me because I did the breeding over here with me. The stud is closer to me than him. So I did the breeding and everything, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the whole nine yards, you guys. And then after the pups were born, we both were going to meet at the C-section place. And he was going to take over after that. So this is what happened. So the day of the C-section, I got an important for you guys know I have kids. So I got a very important, I don't want to go into detail about my personal life, but... I got a very point of phone call about my daughter. My daughter was, some things were going on with my uh, daughter. So I had to call Trill and I told Trill, hey fam, meet me and pick a little bit up for me and go get the C-section. I won't be there, but get footage for me so I can post on my channel. Um, because I wasn't going to be there because I had family emergencies. You guys know, one thing about me, I'm down with y'all. I don't know about anybody else, but my family and my kids come before any of these dolls and money. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, I, excuse my language, you know, for everybody that watch me, you know, I don't want to disrespect nobody, but my kids and family come before all this. This YouTube, these dogs, all this. My family comes first. So if I get a phone call saying something going on with my child, I'm jumping. I don't know about the next person, but I don't care about no $100,000 litter. I don't care about none of that shit because my kids come first. So I got an emergency phone call. 
Um, and I met up with Trill. I gave Trill the female. He went and got a C-section. Um, and I went to handle what I had to handle with my um, with my daughter. So, only thing I can speak on you guys is from what I know from the video call, because Trill FaceTimed me, and what I know from what I seen on the video call. So, long story short is this. You guys know um, when I bought a little bit, well, when we bought a little bit, because we both went half on us, so we bought a little bit together. When we bought her, he was like, she's in heat now. Turns out when we first bought a little bit, she was not in heat, but she came in heat a week later. So it was really a quick flip. And I'm gonna go into the details and I'm gonna go into the specifics on that later just to help some of you guys out because I want you guys to make sure I watch the video to the end because this video is gonna help a lot of guys out. You feel me? A lot of guys out. So please make sure I watch the video to the end and actually take in the knowledge I'm gonna give you guys in this video because I'm a, I mean, it happened to me. I took a me and Trill took a major loss. Um, and I don't blame myself. I'm going to blame myself for the loss because I'm going to just blame myself because I should have took the initiative to make sure the female got cleaned out and to be sure she was good before we even bred her. But you guys know me, like, you know, me, I'm thinking, hey, man, you know, air breeder clean that dog out the right way. And, you know, but, but we'll talk about that a little in a little bit. So long story short, it is. So, Trail FaceTime me. I was like, hey, fam, I got good news and bad news. So, I'm like, okay, tell me the good news. Good news, we had a big litter. Nice, big, thick litter, man. We had eight puppies total, um, and the litter was crazy, man. I'm talking about we had like two or three murals, um, a tri -murl. We had a black. We had two or three creams. They weren't white. They were like creams, right? So, um... Either they were either cream. I think they were cream. I'm gonna say they were cream, but they could have been platinums or whatever. But I think they were cream. So um, he Facetimed me. He was like, "We had eight puppies." I'm like, "Damn, that's a big litter, but that's a, that's the big bag. Cool." Um, and I think uh, it was hard for me to, you know, I'm not a fluffy breed, you guys. So I don't know, but from what Trail told me, we had about out of eight puppies, at least six of them fluffies, and you know. You guys know I was looking for my million dollar fluffy stuff, my litter. But I mean, things happen, you guys. Things happen. So he FaceTimed me, he showed me litter. And you guys know I got a lot of litter on my belt. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, what's the bad news? Bad news, he was like, fam, bad news is three of them came out already dead. So I'm like, three of them came out already dead. What you mean? He was like, yeah, showed them to me. They were dead. Like they were out of there. Cool. So I was like, okay, well, that's good. We still got five left. He was like, yeah, fam, they're not doing good either. I'm like, what you mean they're not doing good, fam? He was like, they tell me from, so I'm going to speak on what he told me and from what I seen. So he was like, they're not doing well. They're, the doctor said they're malnourished. And it's not that, it's not that, I want to make sure everybody understand before everybody go to, you know what I'm saying, giving their opinion. I want to make sure everybody understand before they get their opinion. It's not that they were taken out too early. Because you guys know we do reverse progesterones over here. We don't take no guesses. We don't take no guesses. We do reverse progesterones. So we don't point with everything. We do a PG test. We spend the money to make sure we don't point with everything. Especially if we got a hundred thousand dollar litter. We make sure we don't point. So we ain't taking no guesses. So they weren't taken out early. Because um where I'm at, you take them out. Remember, I told you guys, you take them out at a three or under. She was at a two. So when Trail took her to get the reverse PG, that day she was at a two. So she was ready. And she, okay, so she's making milk the whole night. I was cool. Um, I knew she was ready also because I took her, I want to say two days prior to get a first progesterone, and she was out of four. So, you feel me? She was definitely ready. So, uh, Trey was like, hey, fam, they're, they look undernourished. They look like they just look bad. And another key thing that he did tell me that the vet said, he said that looking from her insides and like all the stuff she had going on, she had a very bad infection like a like a um i don't want to call it a uh a, 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 what kind of infection he said he was i forgot he said the name of it but i forgot what the name of it was but like i said she had a bad infection he was like that was definitely the reason why the pups died and not only that he also was like man to be honest with you guys tommy i don't think these pups are gonna make it and I was like, well, you know me, you all know me, bro. I'm, 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 I'm a, hey, let's try, let's try, let's try. Like, hey, I got everything, I got oxygen machine, incubator, let's try, let's try. So, as I'm on FaceTime, I'm speaking with my kennel partner and the doctor. I'm like, so, like, you know me, I'm like, so we can't try to, like, make it. He was like, honestly, 
And as we're speaking, he shun one of the puppies. And one of the puppies died in his hand. And I'm like, yo, like, that's when I'm like, damn, like, maybe a little bit is more severe than I'm thinking. And it's pretty much out of my hands. Because y'all know me. I'm going to try. Like, if I got a dog that's not doing well, I'm going to take it to the vet. I'm going to spin a bag. I don't care what it is. I'm going to try my best to keep that dog alive. Y'all know me. I'm going to try my best. Like, I'm going to try. But when I seen the dog die in his hand when he was talking or on FaceTime, and me and Trill had a discussion. I, I, I had a private discussion with Trill, and I was like, fam, we had eight puppies. Three came out dead. One died in his hand. They leave us with four puppies. Like, I was like, fam, what do you think? Like, do you think we can do it? And he was like, fam, like, I know, man, you've been waiting on this, bro. And this is supposed to be, like, you feel me? One of the best fluffy litters. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, fam, like, I don't know. Because you guys know I'm a little bit more, um... I'm, I've been breeding a little bit longer than Trail, and I, little, I know a little bit more than Trail, so he was kind of like referring it back to me. And you guys know me. I'm always like, hey, man, let's try it. We got, what, four left? Let's try it, bro. Let's try it. So then it got to a point where the vet was like, yeah, we're trying to clean them out. They still got fluid in their lung. Everything was just going bad, bro. Like, it was all just going bad. And, like... We both just made the decision, like, you feel me, as 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 a, as a unit, to just let them, like, just you know, like, just leave them with the vet, like, just like, just euthanize them and let them die. I mean, um, and again, before people go to comment and try to, oh, why you didn't try? Um, if you guys would have seen these pups, y'all would have seen these pups. Y'all would have understood why I made the decision. Well, I'm not going to say me because we caught on her. I'm not going to be selfish. The reason why me and Trail made this decision together because, you know, she, like it would just, it wouldn't have been worth it because a puppy died in his hands was within, what, 10 minutes? So I was like, you know, it just would have been, it wouldn't have been worth it. So that's why I was just like, okay, Trail. We can go ahead and, and oh, let's speak on that in a little bit. So, long story short, me and Trey made a decision to go ahead and just do thousands of puppies, the last four, and 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 just let and just let it be. You feel me? Let it be. Um, cool. So then, um, me and Trey also had a decision. You know, I got upset. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Trey got upset. We were like, you know what? We finna sell this female. Like, we gonna sell her. Like, bro, we got we got a female that literally just costed us money and didn't do nothing for us. Like, we're gonna sell her. But then I was like, well, let's let's calm down. Let's think about it first, fam. If he says she got a bad infection, all I gotta do is just take the initiative steps to clean her out. The same thing I did with Bertha. You guys remember Bertha? Um, uh, had a bad infection and I cleaned her out perfect and her litter she just had with juice A1 the puppy's doing great I'm actually show you guys um, what's left because I did sell a few pups from that litter and only got a few left so but I'll show you guys that in a little bit but I cleaned Bertha out I cleaned her she had coccidia I cleaned her well, I, I treat her for coccidia I treat her for um, and I treat her for everything literally I gave her like three different meds to clean her out and this last litter she had was amazing. It was phenomenal. Like, they came out healthy. They came out thick, strong, everything. But, so when I looked at the FaceTime and I was looking at the puppies, you guys, they just seemed weak. Like, the puppies just seemed weak. Like, they just looked weak. Um, they barely was moving. Like, they, it was just a lot, man. I was just like, you know, bro, like, we just made that decision. But like I told you guys, I'm only speaking on my standpoint from a FaceTime call. But make sure I go over to Trell's YouTube channel. He's going to go more into depth on, you know, what happened. Um, but now let me tell you guys on another note. On another note, I'm going to speak on this situation. So you guys know me. I clean my females out, like, a lot. Like, I make sure every so often before my dogs come in heat. Um, I clean them out with antibiotics. Um, you, got, you guys know I'm big on antibiotics. I clean them out with antibiotics. Um, apple cider vinegar, the whole nine yards. I make sure my girls are thoroughly clean. B 
before they go eat. So I'm gonna now this is where the information is gonna come in. You guys wanna make sure y'all pay attention. So for a future reference, for anybody who's a breeder, wanna be a breeder, gonna think about breeding, whatever. Please, you guys, please, before you buy these full-grown females, and I know buying a full-grown female instead of buying a puppy is the quicker way to see money, but make sure you know what you're doing. What I mean by that is this. You guys, see, we bought a full-grown female thinking we was going to make a quick, you know what I'm saying, whatever bag, and I'm not trying to say the dog wasn't a, you know, healthy condition. I don't know what the condition the dog was in, you feel me? But from what I seen, the dog looked happy. When I received her... She looked happy to me. Like, she looked happy. She looked well. Um, but, I mean, she had a bad affection. So, make sure you guys, when you guys buy these new grown females, if they come in heat, because I ain't going to lie, a lot of guys, including myself, I'm, not, I'm, I'm guilty for it too. When we buy dogs, these four dogs, and we hear in heat now or in heat soon, we jump it because I like, bet, I'm going to get puppies quick. But, now, me experiencing that, which I've never experienced, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've never experienced buying a female dog and she coming in the heat within the next week and the litter dying because she was not cleaned or she had infection. Because I can name numerous of dogs that I've purchased that were in heat when I purchased them. And they had litters and litters was fine and the dog were fine. The whole nine yards, you guys. But long story, like I said, you guys, when you buy these full-grown dogs, and they come in here or the end heat. Sometimes it's best to skip that heat. Go ahead and clean those females out and wait six months. I'm going to tell you guys why. Because for the ones who didn't know this, you cannot antibiotic or clean your females out a week before the end heat. So, like, let me give you guys a scenario. So, let's say when I got her, let's say I would have tried to clean her out that week I got her right before she came in heat. She wouldn't have took. She wouldn't have took. It would have messed up her heat cycle. That's why um, when you clean your females out, you guys, make sure y'all clean out. That's why they say it's safe to clean your females out a month before they come in heat. That's why they always say clean your females out a month before they come in heat because um, it takes a few weeks for the medicine to actually kill all the bacteria and clean everything how it needs to clean properly. You can't clean them like let's say i would have tried to antibiotic her that first week i got her it would have messed up her heat cycle she wouldn't have took it could have possibly she could have got pregnant and killed the puppies like it would have been a big risk that i would have took and i paid 25 well we paid me and trail paid 2500 for a stud fee on this stud we use so it would have all like It would have just like it would just not would have been a good idea. But like I said, I'm gonna take the L for this because I should have. And again, I've never experienced it, so I didn't really think about it thoroughly. But now, from this point on, if I buy a full grown female, I hear she's in heat now, or she's about to be in heat. I'm gonna skip that heat and clean the females out properly before I actually breed them because I don't want to go through this again. Where you know what I'm saying we we spent a lot of money and invested into this breeding. For eight puppies, fluffies, you know, cream, merle, for them to just pass away. You know what I'm saying? So, um, to prevent that from happening again, I'm just going to be sure I'm on point, you guys. I'm just going to be sure I'm on point. And um, I don't even remember if I asked um, him if he cleaned her out or whatever, but we were just so excited to get her because you guys know I've never been a big fluffy guy, but, you know, like, I mean, I've, I've gotten accepted to the fluffies. And I was actually like, you know, I wouldn't mind having a fluffy. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what a bag at, bro. Like, the bag's there. And, hey, let's see if I can create the best fluffy in the world. You know what I'm saying? And, again, so right now, you guys, um, she's doing well. Um, next video, I'll show her, you guys. Um, but she's doing well, you guys. Um, letting her, I'm letting her rest up. I'm giving her antibiotics. Um, I'm going to, so next week after, you know, because she just had her uh, C-section, what, yesterday? Or two days ago, whatever she had it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the antibiotics take effect on her body. Um, and I'm going to give her about a week or two. And I'm going to go ahead and treat her for coccidia. I'm going to get her, go ahead and give her a uh, biometra. Pet, 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 how you see? Y'all know I'm going to treat her for everything. I'm going to go ahead and clean her out completely. Um, apple cider vinegar, UTI. Every, I'm going to clean her out for everything because the doctor definitely said he looked inside her and she had a lot of infection. It was horrible. And that was 
why the pups die? Like, the infection. You guys know pups can't live with infection. I mean, it's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? And knowing me, you guys, I would have definitely took the risk of like, hey, man, forget it. Let's try it. But I mean, bro, they were dying. Like, one died in his hand. So it was like, would I have got enough time to be able to do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, would it have been enough time for me to, you know, meet up with Trail, get the puppies? Because, again, like I told you guys, Trail was supposed to whoop that litter. So... Um, but like I told you guys, man, hey, things happen. Um, we were going to get rid of her, but I was like, you know what? This is amazing. And this is a phenomenal female. Let me go ahead and take, you know what I'm saying? The initiative to clean her out and make sure everything's on point before we even just try to get rid of her. Um, but I mean, Hey, the litter was amazing. Litter was dope. Litter was definitely fire. You guys know. So next time she come in heat, I'm going to try to find another fluffy to take her to. But in the meantime, um, I'm probably going to be in the market um, looking for a male flood. I don't know. I Honestly, I, let me not speak on that because I know my DMs going to get flooded with dogs. And I don't even know from this point on, I don't even know what I want to do. But make sure you guys go over to Trell's channel so he can um, give you guys more information on what happened. Um, um, I don't know if he's going to drop footage. I don't know what he's going to drop. I don't know what he's going to have. But again, like I told you guys, um, go over to his channel to get more detail on what happened. Um, you guys make sure y'all like my video like it, please share the video um, Leave a thumbs up you guys share the video with everybody. Don't forget you guys. We are doing a um, Cash giveaway next week on my Instagram. I'm gonna drop my Instagram right there All it takes you guys is a follow on Instagram. You don't have to DM me say you want to be in the giveaway None of that just follow my Instagram. That's all you have to do and you're gonna automatically be placed in the giveaway um and um, that's it, you guys. It's going to be two winners. It's going to be two winners. Um, we're going to give away $100 a piece to the winners. So you guys make sure y'all tap in. Pups are doing well, you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys the pups that I still have available. I did sell a few pups. Um, so make sure y'all tap in. I love you guys, man. Hey, I mean, things, like I told you guys, things happen. But for future reference for the ones who watch me, y'all, please make sure y'all take initiative. That's why I actually, that's why you guys... A lot of people, a lot of people don't understand, man. I show y'all the good and bad. I could literally just come on this bitch and show y'all just the good. Me making money, me me having litters. I, I, but I show y'all the bad too. When I say bad, me losing puppies, me losing dogs, me losing because I want to show you guys what comes with the game. I'm one of them breeders on YouTube, bro. I'm try I try to be as transparent as possible, like. I don't only want to show you, oh, when you jump in the game, it's going to be all money and glitter and goat. No, I want to show you ass, bro. There's going to be times you're going to lose dogs. There's going to be times you're going to lose puppies. There's going to be times, hey, you're going to have a situation where you take it all to the vet and, hey, situation going on, you feel me? Um, there's a lot of things like uh, that, that, that comes with the game that a lot of people don't fully understand. Um, and I want, I don't want to hide it from y'all. I want y'all to know. Like, I want to just give it to y'all raw. Like, hey. It's going to be glitter. It's going to be gold. It's going to be dark nights. It's going to be rainy days. You feel me? And this all comes with the game. And I know some of y'all probably like watch my videos and be like, damn, Tommy don't seem bothered by the few dogs he lost. Trust me, I am bothered by it. It does hurt. You feel me? Like, it hurts. Trust me, it hurts bad. But again, it comes with the game, bro. Like, that's the shit. When I jumped in this game, that's the shit I understood, bro. Like, I can't sit around and grief for no shit that happened. Like, good example, you guys. So the situation went juicy, you guys. And I know I never really spoke on it after that, but I, a few things I do want to speak on, you guys. Like, the situation went juicy. People don't even understand or know. There's, I'm right now, I'm in a process with my lawyer and stuff of suing the vet because of the situation that happened with Juicy. A lot of people speak and comment on things. They don't, have, they don't even understand even know what the fuck be going on. Like, my dog was killed. You feel me? Like, Juicy was definitely killed. Like, you feel me? Like, Juicy was definitely killed. Because when I took Juicy to the vet, on the ride to the vet, Juicy was, Juicy got better. Juicy was, she was definitely better. And you mean to tell me from the time frame of you guys doing a x-ray to bringing the results back to me and telling me the results, she went from doing well to, oh, she's passing away? How? There's no way possible. See, but again, people speak on things they know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? Um, Juicy was definitely my pride and joy. That was my production. That was my first fucking 10-star production, bro. Like, 
You feel me? Like, I got many offers for this dog, bro. Like, big breeders off me a bag for it, bro. Like, I turned that shit down because, bro, that shit hit different when you created it, bro. And that shit is next level. When you create that shit, bro, and you got niggas in the game that been in the game 20 plus years and they trying to buy it from you, it hit different, bro. It definitely hits different. You feel me? It's a different feeling. So I would never get rid of something that I've created that I know for a fact would have definitely taken my camp to the next level when I bred her. You feel me? Like, I got offered a 30 ball for Juicy when she was like seven months old. I denied. I turned it down. You feel me? Um, also, you guys, Billy Jean. Not Billy Jean. I'm going to come back to Billy Jean. Rosa Parks, you guys. For the ones who don't remember or don't watch all the videos, Rosa Parks. I got a autopsy on Rosa Parks, you guys. I don't know if people remember. I did the video of her dying, and then I came back and did the video of the results her in. <laughs> I got an autopsy on Rosa Parks, and Rosa Parks had heart failure. Like she had a heart failure. So from what the vet told me and what the results said was, um, so you guys know Rosa Parks was a small dog. You guys, like just imagine having a small dog filled with ten puppies. A small dog filled with 10 puppies like you guys got to think about it these bullies already have breathing problems like we know like this is something that is no-brainer like these dogs have breathing problems we all know this we are like this is a no-brainer anybody that breed micros nanos whatever the case anything small they got breathing problems i don't care what nobody say dealing with these bulldogs these frenchies they got breathing problems so now we've taken a female who had you know what I'm saying? Great airflow through her lungs, through everything. Now she's filled with 10 puppies that are pushing all her organs. Now it's closing things up. Now things that got to work 10 times harder to try to make it work. Now her body has to. And again, you guys, so the vet also said that's why she was holding a lot of water because it wasn't going through her body because the puppies was pushing on her organs. So the fluids weren't going through. That's why Rosa Parks would drink a full bowl of water in 10 minutes because her body was thinking she was thirsty, but in reality, she had water. It just wasn't going out through her body. Her body wasn't seeping out of water because her organs were pushed in with all these pups. So um, that was the results from um, Rosa Parks. Not a heat stroke. I mean, we get it. Um, Billy Jean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Billy Jean, I just don't know. Like that's the one that, that's the unsolved mystery. I don't know about Billy Jean, but these three females that spoke on all died because of different reasons. So um, make sure you guys paying attention and watching all the videos before you drop a comment. Um, speaking on something you don't know about please you guys that's all i ask for you guys like the comments don't get to me you guys y'all know i'm an open channel like i'm here like i'm gonna comment back i'm gonna read the comments i'm gonna interact with you guys but just give me the 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 satisfaction of actually watching all the videos and understanding what happened before you drop your comment or drop your knowledge that's like the guys that comment on the video before they watch the video Bro, watch all the videos. Like, you can't just watch a video and then skip four videos and then come back on another video and they be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you don't even know what happened or what led up to what happened. Pay attention. Like, just pay attention, you guys. Everybody also know Rosa Parks from day one with Rosa Parks when she, um, from day one, she was holding blood from when I bred her. Then from day one when I confirmed her, she already had a horrible UTI, a horrible infection. Like, you guys have to go back and look at what led up to the things that happened. You feel me? So that's all I'm saying, you guys. Just make sure y'all actually watching the videos before y'all drop y'all comments. Because it makes, you know what I'm saying? It kind of, kind of, it kind of make it just to me, to me in that situation. And you guys know me. Like, I'm a very humble dude. Like, kind of to me make make it seem like you know feel me like people be hater like you a hater if you have if you watch one video then you skip three or four or five videos then you come back on another video and then you be like oh yeah you try to say something negative if you don't even know what led up to something that's like something happening in the world and some random person like hey yeah oh 
this what happened or some person just going by what they heard or what they seen from you know like let's say somebody let's okay let's i'm gonna put in a scenario you guys let's say somebody died and i walk past and i ask somebody hey what happened and they be like oh yeah they died and now i'm like oh yeah that's green they died because they they was talking shit to somebody somebody shot them. i'm like bro i don't know i don't know what happened so i can't speak on something i know nothing about especially if i don't know what led up to what happened you feel me? Like, that's all I'm saying, you guys. Give me the satisfaction. And you guys know me. I'm going to always show the good, bad, ugly, everything. Because I want y'all to know it's real life out here. Like, and I'm going to take my losses like a G. You feel me? Like, I'm going to take my losses like a G. I take my wins like a G. So, I got to take my losses like a G. There's no point of sitting behind. You know, there's a point of crying about it. There's a point of being, you feel me? Oh, I want to quit bullies. I'm done breeding bullies. I don't want to breed no more. Cut, bro, I took losses, bro. I'm a bit, da, da, da. Bro. That's what happens, bro. Bro, you going to take losses, brother. Hey, you guys got to understand. Even Forget the dogs. Even in real life, you're going to have sunny days. You're going to have rainy days. Nothing is always going to be good. You feel me? There's always going to be times where things are going to get rough. It's all about how you recoup and how you stand strong when things are rough. You know what I'm saying? I always remember that, you guys. But go over to Trump page. Do that. Um, I love you guys. Um, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. I appreciate the real supporters who actually watch every video. And I honestly, I appreciate the ones who be in my comments defending me. Like, bro, like I, I watch some comments where it's like people will like they'll 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 they'll, they'll throw me down, right? And the others will be up under their comments like, bro, you know what you're talking about. I'm just very understanding. That's why I keep my dog so long, people, because I'm understanding. Like, I'm understanding when you buy a, a big ticket dog, sometimes you're going to need help. You might need an extra week. You might need an extra two, three weeks or a month or so. And I'm very understanding when it comes to that. Um, but like I said, you guys, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everything. I appreciate the negative comments. I appreciate the positive comments. Like, I'm an open channel, you guys. Let's, let's, let's talk. Like, I'm open. I'm an open book. Like, let's discuss. But again, before you make a comment, and don't understand the situation fully go back and watch the videos you missed to know what's really going on before you make an assumption